Hey there, I'm Brandon, and this is the Dirt Church Devotional. Let me ask you, did the altar alter you? Alter, A-R, alter, E-R, you. It leads to a, a, a hard statement. I guess my question really is, since coming to Christ, since having a relationship or an experience at least with Jesus, have you been changed? Now, here's the hard truth that I'm getting at, and, and some of you may not like this, but you know what? God didn't call me to make friends, called me to make disciples. So here's the statement. If you haven't been changed, you haven't been saved. The Bible tells us that if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old is gone, and the new has come. In other words, if anybody has a legitimate, a real experience, a life-changing experience with Jesus where they've surrendered themselves to him, they're changed. They're going to be different. They're not going to be that old person that they were before. And that's good news. We don't have to stay the way that we were. In fact, when we have that, that legitimate experience with Jesus, we won't be that same person that we were before. One of the greatest testimonies that I've ever heard, I heard recently, there's a gentleman in our church, uh, older gentleman, late 70s, maybe early 80s, I, I don't really recall. I know he came to the Lord a few years back when he was certainly in his late 70s. Now he had grown up a ch in, as a child in a different faith community, had uh, lost that faith, had been married and, and had chosen a, a, an atheistic path. But recently, again, as I say, in his late 70s, he came to Christ. He had a, a real experience, not just a religious experience, but a real experience with Jesus Christ. I had the privilege of baptizing him a few years ago. I was just talking with his son not too long ago, and his son told me this. He says, I don't even recognize that man. And he said, and that's a good thing. He's pointing to his father, who he's known his entire life. And he says, I don't even recognize him. Since his encounter with Jesus, I don't recognize him. That's because Jesus has changed him from the inside out. Oh, on the outside, he's not perfect. He's still rough around the edges, a little crusty, but, but aren't we all? But here's the point. Are you being changed? Are you being transformed? If you're not being changed... You haven't been saved. I encourage you, go look through uh, Go look through 1 Chronicles. Read through 1 Chronicles, and it talks about the kings of Israel and the kings of Judah. Some good, some bad. Some started out good, ended up bad. Some started out bad, ended up good, because God loves to transform us. I'm going to leave you with, with this one thought and, and challenge. Jesus, talking to the Pharisees, he told them, you guys are hypocrites, you're whitewashed walls, you're, you're graves full of dead men's bones. He used this analogy, though. He says, you wash the outside of the cup, but the inside is still full of, of you know, garbage and malice and blah, blah, blah. And then he challenged them, wash the inside of the cup, and then you'll be clean. Go find an old coffee cup. Go find an old cup that has been used that's, that's filthy dirty, and, and actually find two and try this. Wash the outside. See if you can wash the outside without washing the inside. I think you'll find it's possible. Take the second cup, wash the inside, and see if you can clean the inside without it affecting the outside. I think you'll find it's not possible. All right, so here's the deal. Let Jesus clean you up on the inside, and you'll end up being clean on the outside. Nobody's asking you to be perfect overnight, but are you being changed? Are there things that you can't do today that you used to do? Are you being transformed? Do your old friends even recognize you? Did the altar alter you? Let Jesus change and give you brand new life. All right, Lord bless you. Chew on that. We'll talk to you next time.